I'll never forget the morning I was reading my Bible and I had arrived that morning in Romans chapter 10 and I came across that classic passage how shall they hear without a preacher it was at that very point that I sensed God's call upon my life this is my story and it reminds me that it's significant in how you go through the process of discerning a call. This is why we wrote uh, the book, The Call to Ministry. We want to serve uh, two particular dimensions of uh, the ministry. First, the pastor. We want you to use this book as a tool, as a means to help young men and young women as they're called into uh, gospel labor. And also, uh, we want to help those of you who are discerning a call, the actual ones that God's working in your life. And so as you approach this journal, uh, I would encourage you to work through it in its entirety. You know, start with the compulsion, the internal desire. Do you sense God calling you to give up your life in exchange for gospel labor? If that desire's there, then the next step is to check out your character. And then you go to those people around you and say, help, uh, wh what do I need to, what do I need to think about? Do you see God moving me in a direction? Do you see God's hand on my life? Is there fruit coming out of my ministry? Even in the smallest of things, I'll never forget 1987, 1988, and 1989. Those were pivotal years for me as I was striving to discern the call of God on my life and the future of how I would be deployed in gospel ministry. My guess is that you're at that pivotal place if you have this book in your hands right now. I hope and I pray that this volume will serve you and God will use it to aid you in calling you into gospel ministry and you will have a fruitful, character-driven gospel impact.